so I'm missing two parts of Cecile's um, full collection and her necklace is not where it's supposed to be. Where is it? Okay, hang on. There we go. I'm missing two parts of Cecile's um, collection. I lose things a lot, so um, I'm missing one of her gloves. I don't even know how that happened, but I only have one of her gloves, which is really sad because I like these gloves. But yeah, I only have one. And I can't find one of her hair ribbons either. So, yeah. Let's get started on the characteristics of the actual doll. So she has the Sonali face mold, which I believe is gorgeous. And she has hazel eyes, which are different from some hazel eyes, like they're darker than say Laney's. Um, yeah, um, and I think they're really pretty on a, um, dark skin doll. It looks, makes her look really unique. And, um, again, with, um, the hair, Cecile has very ringlet-y hair that's very difficult to take care of if you don't know how. And that's why I believe a lot of people, she didn't sell well as well. Because her hair might be, like, very scary, like, to some people, um, because of its curliness. <laughs> it might be, it's also very difficult to style. I don't do very many styles on it because of its crazy curliness. I don't want to mess it up. Uh, the most I ever do is, like, pulling it back and, like, letting it go. I've pulled it into ponytail before, I think, but that's it. Um, so, she has dark skin, obviously, and feather eyebrows. So, that is Cecile. And she also has these little, little teeny little curls here that are not in very good shape because I don't take particularly good care of her hair, which is really sad. But, um, yeah. So, again the only one hair ribbon I couldn't find the other one so she looks completely ridiculous but you know so moving on to her meat outfit it is absolutely gorgeous I love this dress and it is just beautiful it's um let me get her hair out of the way um it also has puff sleeves but they look better than Mary Grace's I think and um this velvet stuff and with the little roses and that looks really pretty and this little blouse looking thing that's actually attached to the dress so everything all the whole dress is attached to it and so we got in the skirt part it's just blue and it's a really pretty shade of blue and then there's some like velvet trim on the bottom which is really pretty and okay at the bottom we've got more pantaloons which are differently made like they have these little um lacy things instead of the um the zigzag print thing i don't know and then we got the same socks exact same and these slightly more like these are not an exact copy of mary grace's shoes with different um uh with a different like color they are not they are different so here's mary grace's shoe and it's actually completely different um you see the color difference that's easy and really obvious but here you got the buttons in a straight line and there's a little the little detailing right there is in a straight line as well um but on cecile's shoe it, it looks really green in the sliding, but it's not. It's black. It's completely black. And it's got this, um, it's like lumpy and stuff. And it looks really pretty. And I prefer her shoes tremendously. But, um, I don't know. Maybe Mary Grace's are historically accurate as well. I don't know. Um, but, yeah. Those are her shoes. And that is the beautiful Cecile.
So next we have her accessories, and again, only three pieces, which is really sad. And so her hat is felt also. Um, I don't know, it, it looks good with her meat outfit, but it doesn't go with anything else. It, it's rather useless unless you're planning on having Cecile wear her meat outfit a lot. Um, but it's a very pretty little hat. It's got this lovely velvet detailing here, all around, and this little rose rose thing here. Kind of matches the roses on her dress, and then there's this big red bow over here that's slightly random looking, but you know, it looks pretty. Um, like I said, the hat is rather it, it, you can't ma mix and match it with anything else. It's pretty. It only goes with the dress, which is kind of sad because, I mean, you never use it. I, I don't, anyway. Anyway, um, so, then we have the gorgeous necklace. I use this necklace all the time. And it is a beautiful necklace. It has this love, it looks like old-fashioned, you know? And it's really, really pretty. It's got a chain, which is a lot smaller than uh, Marie Grace's chain. And it's got a beautiful little um, old-fashioned looking uh, design here with a pearl in the center. And I just think that this necklace is really awesome. And I, I love it. I use it all the time. And I, it's just gorgeous. And so that's... That's the whole re that's why I love Sissy's me um meat accessories cuz that's the only thing I use cuz remember I only oh foot I only have one glove and the gloves are pretty I, I like them they are really simple just a glove with the um well thing there they're really more like mittens but um I like the gloves and I would use them if I had both of them but I don't so I only have one glove so I don't use it very often. I use the gloves very often because I mean, what what use do you have for one glove? That's just pathetic. Um. So yeah, that is Cecile with her mute accessories. So personally, here's my personal opinion of Cecile. I wouldn't recommend her to younger collectors who don't know how to manage her hair. Because you could easily ruin it, and that would not be good. But if you're an older, if you know how to manage her hair, and or you're prepared to learn how, and you think you can do it, then Cecile is a gorgeous doll, and I really recommend her to those people. Um, I don't know if her made accessories are worth it. Um... I mean, I only use the necklace, but the necklace is awesome, so, you know. Um, yeah. So, I think Cecile is absolutely gorgeous. And that's just my opinion of her. One thing about her, though, is I've only had her since 2012 or so. And for some reason, her limbs are actually really loose. Like, not incredibly loose, but, like, looser than most of my dolls. If you see here, yeah, they are not extremely tight. They're not as tight as most of my dolls, which is weird because she's one of my one of my more recent dolls, and she's pigeon toed right now. That's awkward. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just that particular doll that I the, that particular Cecile doll I have. But for some reason, her limbs are really ridiculously loose for her age and I don't know that's kind of a thumbs down for me on American Girl's part because I mean seriously I don't use her all that much I mean not any more than my other dolls anyway like I don't know I think that's just my a me thing um that happened with this this particular Cecile doll but I don't know um yeah so, 
But I still think Cecile is awesome. She can stand on her own. It's just that her limbs are looser than most of my other dolls. So that's Cecile. She's gorgeous. She's amazing. <laughs>